So apparently the last one was already public. Oopsie. I need to tap myself so that it lightens up the screen. Put on another light, see if that helps. No, nope. Put that one off, put this one on. No. Put that one off, put this one on. No. Hmm. I kind of like this one better. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let me invite my friend, my EJ and my love. There's my love aunt. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, she already on here, I think. There she is. She's back. Hi, Love Seal. Love Seal. Is still really your last name? I'm just curious. Hey, EJ. I think I invited you as soon as you already joined, so. I changed the lighting. Do y'all like this? It's not as bright. So that's so. Because, see, look. Look at that. It just, just puts this weird shine on my nose. Like, I need any more shininess for my nose. So I'm just going to wait a couple seconds to see if anybody else wants to come in. Not going to wait too long because we're just going to get this thing started. People all usually watch the pre, the um, replay anyway or they just play it later or however you want to word it. But they usually end up watching later when it's not live. It's always funny when I watch when I see like someone just wave. Oh, so that is legit your last name. That's cool. It's always funny when I see somebody um just say hi on a video that was previously there. Hi, Penny. Um... I just think that's hilarious because like it's not live anymore both were fine to you i like this one better <sighs> this is second day wash and go hair right here going on so you know it's just it's doing its thing but this isn't about hair we're not talking about hair today we're gonna talk about relationships we're gonna talk about love we're gonna talk about not that love not the love that's watching but you know love kiki do you love me are you right no not that um dating um and just like just relationship stuff so i have a question for the ladies like if if you're a lady that has not been on a date in a long time long time being let's just say more than two months then i would like to know why why do you feel you haven't been on a date in two months or a longer time and not let folks waste time. Not letting. Oh, and not letting folks waste time. Absolutely. freaking lutely. I'm gonna. You know, EJ. I'm gonna do like a little blur later. It's gonna be like five ways to know that you need April Mason, and it's gonna be like you know, boom, boom, boom. Just whatever these things are that, for me, were indicators that I needed some help in the femininity department, and you know, relationships and just all of that stuff, right? I'm gonna do like it's gonna be quick. It's gonna have to be like under a minute so that I can put it on Instagram. Also, I'm reading the book too, so I gotta, you know, finish that up and give my little review. But you already know I'm a fan, so it's gonna be good. Um Yeah, so so yeah, so that's my first question. It's only three of us on here and me, of course. Um and I know once before some of the ladies they said that they hadn't been on dates in months and I was trying to to do like a private live with them and find out why the heck not so i'm just curious like what do people feel are the reasons why they're not getting quality dates and what are the reasons why people feel like they're not getting in the relationships that they desire to get into so i will share my experience um my dating um i don't want to say wells because some of them are wells and some of them are like mm, okay that happens um but I would say probably about three-ish, maybe two to three years ago, I was really like kind of in a dating slump, like to the point where like I was like getting stood up. <laughs> I'm like, like really? You got so yes. I, like sometimes guys think that that doesn't happen to females, but it does, and I feel like a lot of it has to do with the energy that I was putting out there. I mean, I kind of was going through the whole dating process just to be going through it. Okay, I got a response. Um, Love said they not focused. Okay, we're gonna get to that. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I got my got my ten thousand steps in. Oh, did it just go out? Boom, got them. Okay, sorry, I know I can be a little distracted. But yeah, so I was going through my dating woes and I was pretty much just going through the motions and um I got stood like I got stood up a lot, like more than three times, maybe less than ten. Like not by the same guy, of course, because you don't get all those chances. That's crazy. Um, I might give a guy a second chance if he calls and he's like, oh, this is what happened, blah, blah, blah. but unless you in an ambulance, 
then sir, there's no excuse for standing me up. Because, you know, we got to do all this stuff. We got to get ready. We got to do our hair. We got to put our makeup on. We got to shave our legs. If, if Unless you don't do that, that's your business. Um, shave our pits, you know, shower and, you know, get cute, put on bra, put on Spanx if you got to put on Spanx. Like, all these things we have to do to prepare to show up looking cute for a date for someone to just waste your time. Unacceptable. But anyway, that was kind of the, like the dating stuff that I was in. And um, my... My mom had previously told me that I was really hard on guys. And I didn't really understand what that meant. I thought that meant that I have high standards and I'm supposed to because I want to, this is the person I'm gonna spend the rest of my life with and I should be hard on him and he should have to flip over this gate and climb through this wall and break through these bricks and do all these things. Even though he doesn't even know me, doesn't know that I'm worth it, doesn't even know if he wants to be my friend. So I didn't quite understand that. But when I found April Mason, I kind of got the, the revelation. I was like, oh, she didn't mean that I'm hard on guys. She meant that I'm exuding masculine energy and I'm not going to um, attract a masculine man being mannish. Duh. Because see, when you put on the dresses and you do your hair and you do your makeup, you think I, I'm feminine. But it's really less about that. It's more about your energy. It's more about the vibes you're putting out you, you know like because there's ways to say things there's ways to do things there's ways to interact with men that are allowing you to be in your femininity um instead of doing things in such a masculine way and um yeah when i found april she it kind of like bing the little light went on um so that was how my dating life was before and now my dating life is pretty freaking good i mean I get dates, I flirt with men, I get to know people. Um, I'm not in a committed relationship at the moment, but uh, I am trying to get wiped up 2018. Hashtag wiped up 2018. Um, so, yeah, so that's where I'm. So I, th I feel like right now I'm, I'm in a good place as far as dating goes. Good enough to give advice? I don't know, but I will give it and we will see if it worketh for thine, okay? All right, so let me see if there's any comments or questions or if anybody feels like coming on and chatting with me because I am here for that too. Okay, now love said they not focused. No excuses, unacceptable, hard on guys. Add me, child. Okay, so we're going to bring love on. I'm trying to remember how I can do that now because they don't change the format on me 50, 11 times. Or at least boot up, right? <laughs> boot up to anything. Okay, I'm going to try and bring you on, love. We're going to see. God, this is the only top half. I can pull my pants up without y'all seeing that. Hi. So got on my work pants. There Hi. she is. Love still. How you doing tonight, love? Let me turn my volume up. I'm good. How are you? How is everyone I alive? I hope well. Hi, Chantra. Okay, Chantra said, how do I feel about men who want to be in a situation? We're going to talk about that. But since I have love on, we're going to get to love, love's comment, love's experience, and anything that I can offer, if anything. So, what's going on? Hi, Miss Lee. No, I just was, I found that interesting, that um, hard on guys comments. Mm. Yes, yeah, so. How do you feel? I mean, Okay, so my perspective is a little different. I like like you. I try to make sure that you know I look presentable. I'm I'm being feminine, ultra feminine. Hi, Tawana. And you know, you see my speaking voice. I yeah, I've, I've practiced this since, since since like high school. Like you know, make sure you have a nice, pleasant voice. And they take their kindness for weakness. And they feel like you're an idiot. <laughs> you can give, they can give you a six for a nine and try to play you mm. like a fool. So, you know, it's fine. Keep your femininity, but don't play the ass of yourself, you know? Ooh, sorry. Forgot, <laughs> forgot where I was. <laughs> you know, that's all right. So it's like, you know, I like to keep my standards. I like to say exactly what it is that. Um, I want, and I'm the prize. I agree. And so, if you don't like if you don't like what I what I want, then you can go. I'm not gonna keep you. I'm not gonna keep you around. I'm not even gonna beg for you to stay. I'm just gonna be like, I right, peace. You know. And you shouldn't. And the thing about it is, what I learned to do is 
focus on building a friendship. I really, 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 I try to drive this home, acquaintance, associate, friendship, and then intimacy. So at the bare minimum, you're going to garner some respect because you're not just going to try to slay with me. No, you're going to end up loving me as an individual and you want to be my friend. So, you know, you, I find men treat their friends a little bit better than they do just a, a random hmm. woman. So, interesting. I am the prize. That's right, Candace. I am yes, the prize. Candace. You, can, you know, as a woman, we give so much. You get in a relationship, you become a personal secretary. You're like, okay, you got to remember everything that's going on in your life. And then you got to remember, oh, wait, it's six months. They haven't gone to the dentist. Let me try to make sure that they made the appointment. Oh, just, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I know they're working hard. It's the end of the quarter. Did we, did I call him and make sure that he ate today? Because I know he got to, I, I know he's working hard. He's probably just forgetting to eat. These are the things that we do as women. We're natural, you know, uh -huh. nurturers. But you got to earn that. Uh -huh. Well, yes, be hard. I'm not hard and, and like that's the main part. Yeah, not hard and like, um, you know, be aggressive and nasty. No, but you have to set a certain standard that they have to rise their case to the occasion to because at the end of the day, I make your life better. We, it's clear we can do this on our own. I mean, we need you too. Don't get me wrong. But we're gonna naturally do what we what we're supposed to do as your woman. That's just what we do. We just we just fall in line, <laughs> you know. So okay. So it, it sounds like we we agree. Um, what I, what I was saying about the whole the being hard part was I thought that's what my mom was trying to say to me. Oh. That it was about my standards, but it wasn't. It was about the energy that I was putting out there. It was about mm. the way that I'd approach a dude, the way that I'd come into the room, the way that I'd stand, the way, like everything. It was just, it was just masculine. I, I'm, I can be honest and say that mm. I was not a very feminine girl. Oh, <laughs> well, no, you gotta, make, woman, you gotta make sure but, that, you know, you're soft and, and just, that, you know. And I learned well, that. Because and... it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't initially there. Right. And when, and when I think about just growing up and my mother and everything, my my parents they had five children together and I was in the middle. So mm -hmm. if you go by what you know what the media says, I I didn't get the attention. So I don't feel like I really had that that really feminine example around me. Mm -hmm. So when I discovered what it was, like I actually had to try to work at it. And there are times when like I feel myself slipping into my masculine energy, like walking fast or mm -hmm. just doing things, and it's like whoa whoa, okay calm it okay. Oh, okay, I don't, I don't have to do like, that. No, no. Oh, there's a guy that. Oh, sweetheart, can you can you get that for me? Right. Way on the top. Shelf. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. you know, and, <laughs> but right. I, but I had to work at that. When I say I do, I'm still working at it. Um, you had already been doing it. So my mother. Let me say, my, my mom was literally Dominique Devereaux, the Panamanian version. Okay, so it okay. was. I don't know if you guys know who that is. That's like Diane Carroll in in Dynasty. Okay. Yeah. So okay, that makes sense. You know, it was very much exude femininity, exude a strong regal woman. Like yes. you want to make sure that you know what you're always looking your best, always feeling your best, and you kind of, it's almost like a man has to step up to even approach you. Like, you got, they have to make sure that, okay, I got to make sure I, I don't, I don't mess up. It could be intimidating to some, but if it is intimidating, I don't want you anyway. We don't want the guys that are. We don't want you anyway. Exactly. So, <laughs> it's good, good. I'm glad scared, you're not. scared of Yes, confidence is key. Mm -hmm. Confidence is key because I'm very confident. And I feel like, you know what? You should date according to your self-esteem level. People if I feel like I'm a regal a queen, I need eyes. a king beside me. I'm, I want a king beside me. If I'm a goddess, I need a god beside me. Period. Like, that's it. Nothing less will do. I mean, I'm sure if you're feeling down one day, I, I got your back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build you up, but you can't stay there. You can't stay there. Absolutely. 100% agree. Okay, I want to get to Chantra Lay's question. Or, oh. yeah, it was a question. I'm going to see if she wants to come on. Okay. So thank you for coming on, love. I really appreciate Bye. it. Bye. Hi.
Bye, love. See you later. Bye. You got to take me off because I don't know how to get off of it. Yeah, I think I can. <laughs> All right. All right. That was interesting. Turns out that we actually agree, though. Okay, now I'm going to try and see if I can bring on Chantra. Chantra, if you're still here, I want to bring you on because I want to make sure I clear. Oh, dang. I can't bring Chantra on. What happened? Okay. It says I can't bring Chantra on, but I'm going to read her question. It says, how do you feel about men who want to be in a situation? Now, part of that, unfortunately, Chantra, is going to require me to assume what she means by situation um, from what I think. From what I understand is a situation is when you're basically in a relationship without a title because the man typically wants all the benefits of being in a relationship with you. He wants to lay with you. He wants you to cook for him. He wants you to do all these things, but he doesn't want to be committed. So that's my understanding of a situation so if that's wrong, feel free to put the real definition down there somewhere and I'll try and read it. Um, but if that is accurate, this is what I have to say to that. You, at ladies, sorry men, we are in control. We have the option of whether or not we want to be someone's situationship. It's simple as that. If you feel like you deserve a relationship and this man is not going to give it to you or he can't provide it to you or he just doesn't fit the bill, you have the right to be like, you know what, sweetheart? I understand that um, you're not you're not ready to be in a committed relationship right now, and and I totally understand that. But for me, for what I need to do for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and move forward to someone who's on the same path as me. God bless. I'm good. Love. Enjoy. However, however you want to put it, you know, sweet. Hopefully, but that's the thing. We have the power, but the, well, let me tell you what happens. What happens is y'all be like, oh, you know, he's not ready now, but you don't want to be single and you don't want to go looking for you don't want to do the work of having to go through all these 50 first dates or however many dates it is to get to your your forever mate so you're like i'll just keep him around for now and, and maybe he'll you know mature or he'll grow or he'll decide that he eventually wants to be in a committed relationship and you know what's going to happen he is but it's not going to be with you he's going to decide on the next one he's going to be like you know it's you know it's been real you know thanks for holding me down but you know this, you know, this thing ain't working for me no more. And he's going to go ahead and move on. And he's going to be with this girl for six months. And even though you was with him for six years and he didn't put a ring on, he was with this girl for six months and he put a ring on her finger and you're wondering why. Just saying. So that's how I feel about that. And it's the same with women. We're not going to act like there aren't some women out here who don't desire. Oh, shoot. What the heck? My back. What the heck? It like, I tried to get rid of a notification and it did that. But anyway, but we're not going to act like women don't do that too sometimes. Sometimes there are women who, you know, desire situationships. They're like, yeah, I just need to come put it down every so often. You know, I can cook for them and everything. But, you know, I'm not trying to be committed. So same thing goes for men and women. Penny says they don't want to be in the, they don't want to be in the with you, in there with you. But he, but if he finds someone, he will do it. Exactly. Just like there's a saying that says, you know, um, like you can't change a man, but a man will change for the right person. That's part of that. Because obviously he didn't feel like he was ready to commit at the time. But it, it, it wasn't that he wasn't ready to commit. He just wasn't ready to commit to you. Sorry, right, real talk. So that's how I feel about that. What else you guys want to talk about? Let's see. It's, it's early-ish. Yeah, we're only 18 minutes in. So if you all want to chat about anything specific, let me know. Um, or if you want to come on, please do, because I like to have people on. I'm like late in a mug waving at people, but I'm just scrolling up, so I get to see this now. Hi, brother, if you're still on. We're talking about relationships, or in some cases, situationships. And I am not the relationship guru, but I've just learned a little bit in my little 36 years, and I like to share that with people. And... Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing here. So, does anybody want to talk about anything specific? Also, I would like to put out this PSA, this public service announcement. Just a reminder to my ladies, and I do this every so often. I do this probably about every, 
how, how often do I do? I don't know. Whenever it just touches my soul, this is my reminder to all the married ladies, you know, to uh, make sure you uh, don't get complacent in your marriage just because you got the ring. Don't mean you can't get put on that tang tang phone. You know what I'm saying? Just because, you know, like sometimes you just need a reminder, you know, I'm like, dang, you know, we, you know, haven't, you know, had some fun in a while. So sometimes you just need a little reminder. So go ahead and dust off that lingerie you got. Pull it out the back of the drawer because you don't push it all the way to the back because you ain't wore it in so long. Or the back of the closet. I don't know. Do you hang up lingerie? I don't know. I'm working on that. Um, but yeah, go ahead, ladies, married ladies, go ahead and pull that stuff out. You know, do a little special something for home. You know, just, just a reminder because you know, sometimes you get in place and you forget. So that's your PSA. Just want to remind you that. Um, yeah, so relationship stuff. So my um, so back to my initial question for those of you all who have not been on a date in quite some time, whether it's six months, whether it's two months. To me, two months is too long if you're single and don't want to be. I'm just saying. If you say you don't want to be single, but you're not dating, how do you think you're going to get to the married part? Hmm. I'm just saying. Um, so, yeah, for my question is for those who have not been on dates in a long time, I just want to know from your mouth, what do you think the problem is? Or what do you think is preventing you from being able to find that connection or that guy or whatever? What is that? Oh, my little speaker. Every time I move. Sorry. Oh. People are back. Hi, people. People had left. They came back. Welcome back. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's my only question. And and also, uh, another question for Chantra, if she happens to be here still. Matter of fact, I might have to re-invite her. What happened? It froze. What, okay, so what had happened was I actually was trying to get rid of a notification. I was trying to swipe it up, but it tapped it instead, and then it went right inside of that app. And I was like, no, I had to go back. But I'm back, so sorry about that. Um, I really want to get Chantra on because I hope that I answered her question or addressed her question with my little two cents. <laughs> Chantra Lay, I'm going to invite her back in just in case she missed it. Who said they're staying home? Yes, they are staying home, and that's the worst thing. That, ah, that really crumbles my cookie when... I talked to later and then they're like, oh, you know, I haven't been on a month in a, I haven't been on a date all year. And I'm like, oh, well, why is that? Are you going out? No, I don't really go out, but you know, uh, are you flirting with guys in the supermarket? Oh, well, I don't, I don't, I don't really know how to flirt. Um, I'm like, okay, so you go to work and you go home. So unless he's a UPS guy or a burglar, you're not going to meet the man in your dreams doing that. It's, it's just the reality of the situation. You have to get out. You have to look cute. You have to have fun. Matter of fact, you don't even have to look uber cute. You don't even have to put on your six-inch heels and your tight dress and beat your face to the gods. You don't even have to do all that. You can put your little workout clothes on, you know, stop by Lowe's or Home Depot, whatever they have in your area. You know, ask for some help with those hammers, and you never know. You can get a date off of that. Just saying. Hi, Greg. Greg got them abs of steel, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm distracted. Sorry. Mm. But it's true, though. Tell me, if, tell them it's not true that you don't have abs of steel. Okay, I'm just saying. Hi, Minda. Let me wave at people for real. I made on the app. But yeah, so that's my main thing because I, I, I hear it all the time and I'm just like, how do you expect to meet the guy of your dreams if you don't ever go out? And don't go out in no pack, okay? We're not doing that. We're not the wolf pack. Well, you might be in the wolf pack if you, you know, MCM and y'all playing kickball. But other than that, though, you're going out, even if you do want to go with your three girlfriends, just because, you know, it's safer. I get it. Go in there and disperse like a mm -hmm. sneeze in the wind, please. Yes, EJ says she purposely goes to Home Depot and practice flirting. You got you to gotta practice. If you're, if you're not naturally a flirt, you have to practice that stuff, okay? I'm not going to give all the secrets and stuff, but... You know, if you want to join um, April Mason, honey, she's got plenty of tips to get you all the way together, okay? But, um, but yeah, that's that's my main thing. I, I don't like when people are complaining about, oh, I don't want to date, but then you're not going to where to get one. Come on. It's like complaining about not having a job, but you're not out there submitting so resumes. Oh, did you I say it? Yes, I said it. Yes, break apart, honey. Just poof. Like, um, what are those dandelions that she used to, used to blow on when you was a kid and the little stuff would just fly everywhere? 
that's how y'all need to be. Don't be that huddled up five at a table. How are dudes gonna approach you, especially if it's one dude? I'm not got time to be trying to decide for who's gonna be the nice one, who's gonna be the rude one, who's gonna be the blocker, and who's the love of your life. I'm not got time for that. So go ahead, get out there, and get out and disperse. Mm. <laughs> I'm getting all these group me notifications. I probably should have cut off those notifications before I started this. I don't know. I'm just playing with this. This is a piece of my swimsuit. Anywho, or at least trying trying an app. Yeah, definitely. Oh, you want to talk about Trio? Do you feel like coming on? We're going to talk about Trio. That's why my group, that's why my freaking, all these notifications are popping up because of Trio. Do you want to come on, EJ? Let me know. We can both talk about Trio. Trio, yeah, we went to Trio, y'all. Yeah, it was so much fun. We was looking cute. We met some people. We met some friends. We might have some dates. That's our business, not yours. Um, I just feel like putting this around my neck now just because it's here. Okay. <laughs> I feel like the Wayans Brothers when they used to do the little movie re reviews and they'd be like, hey, did it? Do you remember that? <laughs> Anywho, um, yes, Trio. So let's talk about Trio. Do you want to come on? See, she said, what is Trio? Do you want to come on? EJ? Oh, yes, yeah, she said yes. Okay, let me see if I can bring EJ on. Do I tap you? Yes. Okay, I tap you. Hello, darling. EJ! Hi, EJ. What are you at? On the floor. There, the... Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm looking all in the background. <laughs> no iron no board iron chronicles board for you. I should do an iron board chronicle, should I? Mm. <laughs> all the mouth okay. chair chronicles. So do you want chair? There's a chair. Chair, chair chronicles. chronicles. Do you want to tell them about Trio or do you want me to sure. tell them? I can tell them about Trio. Trio. I don't have a problem. So so I'm in one of the meet meet me meetup groups. And so that's how I found out about Trio because you know me. If if and then you know me, I was the one that was staying at home thinking that uh, Mr. Wright was going to come and beat the door down. Um, so that didn't work out quite so well. So I joined a couple of <laughs> meetup groups, and so I saw that the founder of the Trail game was doing this, this the, the game, and it just seemed intriguing to me. So I read the instructions of what the game was about and how there are 16 love types and you only have four matches from out of the 16. So I, it was intriguing to me. I wasn't really feeling doing any kind of like speed dating. And so I decided I wanted to go. So once I read up about the game, I was like, I'm going to invite Maggie to this. Now, most people don't know how you and I met. <laughs> <laughs> we actually met um, doing... Um, April's dating experience. We didn't leave with the guys, but we got good friends out of it. So, yeah. You know? <laughs> so we went to the trail game, and even though there weren't any love connections made per se, but we had such a good time just getting out, getting cute, and practicing flirting because the game forced you to talk to people. Normally, I probably mm -hmm. would have been clinging to you like a second skin. I wouldn't have gotten moved <laughs> around. <laughs> And actually work the room. We had such a good time. What are your thoughts? Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's it in a nutshell. And um, he gets some information from you, some personal information, not super personal, not like social security number personal, but some personal information from you um, to find out what who your type is. Hey, Leah, Leo Robinson. Um, and what I say? Shoot, I'm sorry, I, I got okay. distracted. Yeah. Well, anyway, he gets some personal information and he identifies who you are as your who and, you are, okay, what your yeah. type is, and then the types that you match with. So I ended up being the entertainer. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Shocker there. And then I have these four types that I match with. So my job during the the game was to you know, go up to guys and say, hey, am I your type? And find out whether or not they're my type. And if you are, he's got like some other questions that you ask to get into deeper conversation. Exactly. So tell them your type. So I am a contributor type. And I was one of the made matches, but of course I don't have a penis, so that does, that won't work, you know? Can't, it just doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but we had such a good um, it was, again, it really forced me to get out of my comfort zone by actually talking to people. And I mean, you have to talk to people for business and anything else you do. So mm -hmm. 
this was just a really good exercise in just practicing talking to people, smiling, um, mm -hmm. just getting to know people on a deeper level because the questions were hilarious. So uh -huh. some of the questions <laughs> I just refused to answer because I'm, I'm, I'm not answering that. It made, it and made you, the chocolate girl blush. See? I'm about to say, I don't know if I had any. I don't think I had any on my, except mine, one of my things is it wanted me to, like, dance. Mm -hmm. Like, that was one of, I was supposed to, I was like, oh, really? I was like, you know, we can dance. I was supposed to, like, teach my partner some dance moves mm -hmm. or something like that. That was one of the things that I had to do. And also, hey, Mara, the event, um, Right now, because it's probably going to eventually cost. Right now, the event was free. free. So we didn't like we didn't waste any money going, but we got to get out and we got to meet some A new, new cool people. Spot and, that you never heard of because um, the spot was very nice. Right, and I I I had heard of it. I just had never, never been there just because I was like it's, it's a little bit far. But you know, sometimes you have to travel because you might have to travel for love. Okay. <laughs> And that, yeah. that was that's Anyways, the other thing. You know, Hi, Joanna. I've worked so hard for my education. I've worked so hard to become a lawyer. I don't know why I thought love would be one of those things I didn't have to work for. You got to work for that too. And we <laughs> right, and that's that the thing. That. Exactly, and like that's the thing. That's why I titled this. You know, what are you? You know, what are you doing? If your love life is not great, if it's not everything that you want it to be, what are you doing to improve it? So my thing is, I just, I want more ladies to step out of the box. And if you want to. You're just going to call me right in the middle of this time. That's what we're doing. Oh, sorry. I'm I'll call him back. <laughs> um, well, oh, yeah. Just, you know, what are you doing to, you know, improve your love life and, and, and make a difference? And for any lady who feels like or has heard this, you are so beautiful, you have such a great job, you have all these things, why are you single? If you have heard that statement, you probably need to get in touch with April Mason, okay? Google her, she's got tons of free material, so she's not all about trying to get your dollar or nothing like that, she does have books, she does have classes and things that you can take, but she also has literally probably hundreds of YouTube videos out there of information that she has put out there for free. Hell, I'm so free anybody who wants to, I, mean, I, went to I went to one uh, of her events and of course I went to the dating experience. I'm not in the other groups, but and I keep bouncing off of you. But the point is to at least you have to get out there. You, you're not going to meet anyone sitting yeah. at home thinking they're going to be down the door. And you probably don't want the person that's going to be down the door anyway. I, I, I know I don't. Right. And then also, you know, just like a reminder for our married women, you know, I just, I just like to do this little PSA. I just like telling them, you know, if it's been a while and you ain't put that thing on your husband in a while, you know, go ahead and dust off that lingerie. Get that <laughs> wax, whatever you lingerie. need to do. The, yes, the lingerie. Send them kids to grandma's house. Yeah, yeah. Maybe for a couple of days. And, you know, just remind yourself, you know what I'm saying, why you feeling in love with that man. Because, you know, sometimes I think a lot of women, they tend to get in the mon mundane routine of get up, get the kids ready, go to work, or if they're stay at home, wash the dishes or laundry and all, just all the normal things, and they forget like you know you you're not just a mom, you you're a wife too, you're a woman first. <laughs> you know, because right. when them kids are gone, they've been so go five, ahead and um you'll be a woman when they're gone. Go ahead and get exactly because when they turn eighteen, they gone. Hey? They are gone. I mean, you son, might think they're gonna stay he's around here, but he gone. <laughs> right. I knew it was time to get out when I invited Darren to a concert. I was like, Darren, we should go to this concert. There's the guys that, have, you know, some of your favorite artists are going to be there. And my son was like, uh, you need a man. Oh, I'm like, oh, pressure. Maybe I need to. But, I, you know, I'm trying to break up my routine and, you know, go different places after work. Don't just yeah. do work, gym, kid. Work, gym, kid. I had to change it up. And I have been enjoying and living my best life. Awesome. The day. <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to keep you on here much longer. Um, what time is it? I didn't even check the time. I think we're well past your Oh, I'm, I'm over my 30 minutes. What the yeah. heck? No one told me. Probably because I paused like two times and like it kicked my viewers out and all that good stuff. But anyway, well, I guess, well I'll well, let you go and then I will just go ahead and end the video. Sounds good, my love. Thank you for coming on, EJ. We will, um, you and I, will, we'll do a special video <laughs> talking about how we met one day. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Bye, lady.
That was EJ, spelled E-R-I-Z-A, pronounced Erige. I think I, I think I actually said it right, Erige. Let me know, because I think I'm doing good on that. Hey, Clarenzo. Hi, Brian. Um, yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and wrap that on up. Um, maybe Brian I'll have on here one day. I don't know. I don't know what he was gonna, he's going to contribute because I don't, you know, I just don't know. But, you know, maybe I'll have you on one day. But it's over 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and cut everything. Oh, yeah, so one last thing. So, Erige, I'm going to tell you this too. So I may be working with the creator, yeah, creator of Meet My Type um, on some material um, and just assisting with the, you know, the Meet My Type events. So... I'm excited for that. Um, I definitely will share that with everyone. And um, yeah, we'll just have to see how everything goes as everything develops in my life with my acting and stage. I, I don't really do stage. Um, TV and commercial and movies and all of that. So um, yeah, I'll keep everyone posted. Uh, my next live is probably going to be about my cosplay. And I'm probably going to be in my Slave Leia gear with my long ponytail and all that good stuff um, just to talk about my cosplay and see if anyone wants to donate anything. 50% um, of the proceeds are going to mm -hmm. cancer research. So that's a good thing. But yeah, I just want to tell everyone how that goes. So either I, can, I can't do it this Sunday because I'm going to be out of town, y'all. Um, so I may just do it in the middle of the week. But I will let everyone know and I'll just do a little hashtag cosplay, um, hashtag cancer, hashtag St. Jude's. Um, and all that good stuff so that whoever wants to watch can watch. Um, have a good night, everyone. And, um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. May you raw, raw, real, and uncut. And I'll see you next time. Bye.